Okay, you guys, we're going to do another tutorial here in Photoshop. So you want to make sure that you're in um, the Browse tutorial here on Home. If you don't see it, you need to probably X out and you want to right click and go quit if you don't see some place that has the tutorials. We want to click on this and we're going to go to all categories and we're going to go to orientation and we're going to go to the next one which is get to know selections so I'm just going to move this right here like this might move things around a little so I'm going to click on that start tutorial and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so I'm going to go to the zoom tool you don't have to do this but just so that I can make it work with all the different things on here I'm going to Move this over here a little bit, like that, like that. And here I'm just going to play around with the size until I get it right size here. Maybe 160. And we'll just go like this 170. that doesn't look too bad so with that being said uh, we're, it says right here to select the rectangular marquee key tool so that you can make a regular selection if this tool is already selected click on another tool and then click back so let's click on this right here and now that we have this selected, you can also hold down and see there's other options. There's also elliptical, but we want the rectangular. Right here it says start at the top left corner and drag diagonally to make a rectangle selection around the entire grapefruit image, including its green background. So we're going to click everything, this whole green part right here. So I'm going to select this whole part everything that's green I'm gonna go over it really close here look like it's right there it looks good so I'm gonna let go and now we have a selection right here and it says the next thing to do is click next so I'm gonna click next and here it says click the create new adjustment layer icon and choose hue saturation this creates a hue saturation adjustment layer you'll use to edit the selected part of the image so you'll see like a circle and part of it's grayed out and part of it is lighter so click on that and it wants us to go to hue saturation so now that we have that i'm going to move this box over here a little bit here so we can see that now it says notice the hue saturation adjustment layer. So right there, this is the adjustment layer. An adjustment layer lets you edit non-destructively without directly changing the image. This adjustment layer will affect only the selected area. Click next to continue. So we're only gonna be selecting this area right here. See that little white part? That's the only layer and it's the only part and it's a layer so it's not gonna hurt any part of the image. That's pretty cool. So let's go next here. It says the controls for the adjustment layer are in the properties panel. Drag the hue slider to about plus 30. So I'm going to move that to plus 30. I can also put the number in there exactly if I want to. Now notice that right there, how it changed it. The grapefruit looks like a lemon. You've just created and use your first geometric selection, geometric being a rectangle. Click next to continue. And now I'm going to close this little thing right there. And it says, select the layer fruit. Right there it says fruit, so I'm going to click on this little image right there, the thumbnail. Now it says select the lasso tool. This tool allows you to draw your own selection. So I'm going to click this. It says draw a selection around an individual piece of fruit and its shadow. Click next to continue. Hmm, which one do I want to click on? I could do any fruit right here, okay? Any at all. 
but I'm going to go around. Hmm. Let's go around. Hmm. I'm going to go this orange right here. And I'm going to make sure that I go around the shadow too. And I'm just going to leave a nice space there. Okay. And connect it. Now that I have that, I'm going to click next. Now it says select the eyedropper tool. This tool allows you to sample colors from the image. So I'm going to select this little eyedropper tool. Using the eyedropper tool, click on the light blue background of the top right photo. Okay, to sample that color. Click next to continue. So I'm going to click that color right here. And that changes the foreground color. So you can see the color I selected with the eyedropper. And now I'm going to click next. Now it says click edit fill. fill. So I'm going to go to edit and look for fill. And I'm going to fill it. Now select contents foreground color and click OK. This will fill in selection in your selection with the color sampled by the eyedropper tool. So you can do different things to fill, but I'm going to use this foreground color because that's the color we want to fill this spot in that where the selection is. So I'm going to select, I'm going to select OK here so you can see what's going to happen now. Watch what happens to this right here. Whoa! Now that whole area is the same color here. It says now I'm going to go to select, deselect, okay? You used a freehand selection to conceal part of an image. So right there, that gets rid of that little line that we saw, deselect. Now I'm going to select next. Now I'm going to select the layer bowl. So this little layer that says bowl, I'm going to select the little thumbnail icon. Over here it says select the object selection tool. If you don't see that tool, long press here. Okay. Then hover over this blue box to hide it. Then click the object selection tool in the flyout menu. So if for some reason I don't see it, I'm on object selection tool. But if I didn't see it, I'd hold down until I see all of them and select this one. So I want the object selection tool, which I have right there. Now it says draw a rectangle selection around just the fruit bowl, the fruit in the bowl. Notice how the tool selects the main objects inside the rectangle. So drag a rectangle selection around just the fruit in the bowl. Notice how the tool selects the main objects inside the rectangle. So let's see, let's try that. I think it wants me to do this. There we go. Now, it didn't get everything I wanted, but I could have gotten more if I wanted to. But right here, it says to click Add to Selection option. This this one right here. The two overlapping solid white squares, so you can add more to your selection in the next step. So it's already selected, so I'm going to click something else and then go back to it so it knows I did that selection. Now I'm going to click Next, and then we're going to make more selections in here. So let's drag more rectangles around the rest of the fruit. Click next to continue. So right here, I'm going to go like that. Right here, I'm going to go like that. Right here, I'm going to click like that. And I don't know if it wants me to get the bowl or not. So let's see what it wants me to do right here. There, I, I hit the bowl too, just in case it wanted me to, but I don't know. Now, let's go back to previous, click next. Okay, now it says select the layer bowl, which we did. Select that, we did that. We did that. We did this. It says we did that. Now, 
create a new adjustment layer icon and choose brightness contrast. This creates another layer that you'll use to change the brightness of the selected fruit. We can go like that, brightness contrast. And let's move this out so we can see what it wants us to do. In the properties panel, increase the brightness to about plus 20. So right there, I can increase it, the brightness to about 20 you, to make just the selected fruit pop. You just selected an automatic selection tool to select part of an image for editing. Click next to continue. So we can see clearly what that did here. So let's click next. And if you want to see what that looks like so far, what we've done, you can see the, well, we'll go on to continue and see what we're going to do next, and I'll show you then what we did. So, so now we're going to select the layer boy right there. And it says, click the select subject button and notice how Photoshop has taken a first pass at selecting the boy for you. Click next to continue. So we're going to go select right up here. Then under select, it says subject. So I'm going to click on subject. Now it's going to try to find the boy. It did an incredible perp job of, of selecting the boy. That's incredible. Wow. What a great job. So now let's see the next thing it wants us to do. Now it says, click the create new adjustment layer. We're going to create another adjustment layer and choose color balance. This creates another adjustment layer you'll use to make a change to the subject you selected. Click next to continue. So we're not, we're not adjusting the yellow. We're just adjusting this selection here. Okay, just this one right here, which is going to be pretty cool. Let's see what happens here. Oh, wait. I want to click that color balance here. There we go. Now we're going to move this over. Let's move that right there so we can see what's happening. Click Next. In the Properties panel, move the yellow-blue slider to about plus 50. So we're adding more blue. So we're going to go 50. You used, to change the color there, you selected. It says you've used another automatic selection tool to speed up your workflow. Click Next to continue. So right there, we finished it. Let's see what we did here, OK? So if we go right here, we can see that's pretty cool, right? We can see what we did to the next one, which is this adjustment layer. We can see where we selected the fruit. Where is the one that we selected the fruit? Uh, we filled that, so I can't see that one very easily. There, then we can see this adjustment too. Pretty cool, huh, you guys? And we also erased that one where, where we filled it in. I think it's, yeah. So great job on that, you guys. And then you want to, if you're doing this assignment for me, you want to go to image. You want to go to image size. And you want to change the biggest one, 1800 to 1000. And hit OK. And then you want to go to File, Save a Copy. Make sure you know where you're saving it. And this was called, uh, we're going to change that file to JPEG. I'm putting it in Downloads. And I'm going to label this Get to no selections and JPEG right there hit save medium is fine at six because it's just for canvas or whatever we're using and I'm gonna go okay and I saved it and then I can upload it okay good job you guys